Well, good morning, day three, and remarkably I don't feel too bad this morning. It's a lovely temperature just now, it's quite cool. Um, it's going to be a bit cooler today anyway, I think. Um, just had a lift back up to the trail uh, from the B&B, which is fantastic. Big shout out to Sunfield b and in Diggle. Um, really nice night there, uh, and I was quite glad of it. Oh, I wasn't in the tent. Um, I stopped down there at the bus stop yesterday. Where is it? There they are. Uh, uh, and uh, collapsed in a heap waiting on the bus. And uh, some kind soul uh, stopped and offered me a lift. Um, one of the spine racers, so they're starting today. And uh, if you think I'm mad, these folk run the whole Pennine Way in one go. I think the the, the record is uh, about two and a half days, something like that. Um, which is just mind-blowing for me. I think most folk do sort of do it between five and seven days. Um, but yeah, quite a long one today. The rain's supposed to be a lot easier, so hopefully not as many uh, steep bits. I really do hope that. Uh, I think there's a bit of a steep climb right at the very end where I'm heading to my campsite. But uh, for the moment, it's almost perfect this morning. That's looking down towards Diggle. Uh, and it's looking a lot, an awful lot flatter today, so far anyway. So, big mention to the lady who gave me a lift down. Mel, uh, thank you so much for your donation. Um, that's as well as giving me a lift. I'm just absolutely blown away. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to be leaving uh, the Just Giving page open for quite a while after this hike. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you. And I think as things stand, I'm up to about £250. Um, so, uh, even £5 would be a fantastic donation if you can spare it, but uh, anyway, this is uh, a great start to the morning. Let's just spin round and you can, you can see how barren this landscape is. Not much at all here. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm off in that direction. Um, hopefully we'll see Studley Pike Memorial at some point. Uh, crossing the M62 as well. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably not going to take any video because knowing my luck I'd drop the GoPro onto the motorway below. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm a little more optimistic than I was when I finished yesterday, <laughs> shall we say. Uh, we'll see how we're feeling about 10 miles.
centric point of the day not long, maybe only half a mile um, uh, this is fantastic really is you wouldn't believe this is one of the most populated areas in the UK uh, you can just see, I think it's Manchester hiding over the back of the hills here That's just not going to get closer today. <laughs> oh well. Oh. Um, it's a bit hazy this morning. But there is a beautiful breeze going just now and it's quite cool. Um, which makes it almost perfect for walking. Uh, which is good because I don't think there's much water up here either. Anyway, that's enough of me yapping. I need to crack on. Well, even the edge behind and uh, turning in across the moor. Which is a pity because I was really enjoying that. Yeah. It was even a bit uh, rocky there. So as the Oldham way as well. But we are off on this way and it looks like a good track. And uh, yeah, it has been easy walking this morning, which is great, really. Uh, legs feel all right at the moment. Um, so hopefully this will be all right. <laughs> Not that I'm paranoid about making it to the end of the day at all. This has been great walking this morning. Uh, I'm not quite sure how far I've gone, I'd need to check. My guess is maybe about three, three and a half miles. Uh, I don't even know what time it is. Um, I did think about having a break here, but there should be a cafe at the foot of this hill by the road. So I think I'll have a pop in there, get myself some cake, a cup of tea, uh, maybe a butty, but uh, I'm still full of breakfast at the moment. Crossing that 
it was quite the disconcerting experience. Anyway, it's a bit of a walker shed moment. One of the big barriers and we are heading up this way. This has been the first real climb from the M62. It's not actually been that bad. It's just a bit of a grind. I've been able to keep a decent pace going with the occasional rest, so I think not far from the top, just over these rocks. That's folk out enjoying themselves in the reservoir down there. Unfortunately the uh, cabin down by the road, the cafe, was shut until 12 because of the spine race. So then we'll be expecting maybe the first runners through at 12 o'clock. Uh, but there's a, a pub called the White House, I think, a little bit further up, so hopefully... Uh, That'll be a place for a, a good break for lunch. Trick point at Blackstone Edge. I'm just having a few minutes here and enjoying this view. You can see the way down there. That's where we're going. The pub I'm heading towards is just hidden by the hill here. Sit down in that dip a bit. Uh, Maybe a couple of kilometres to there. I haven't looked at how far I've gone yet. I reckon maybe about six miles. So, uh, we're over a third of the way there, anyway. Rocks everywhere. Well, minor disaster, just coming down the hill there, and uh, the pole snapped, or at least the, uh, the fixture snapped, so uh, it's still serviceable, but um, not impressed after my lucky poles that I've had what, 10, 15 years, well, 15 years, they lasted forever, um, first long distance route with these, and that's it snapped, so, not impressed, and, uh, with another pair of Lekkies that I had recently, and, uh, they felt the bits as well, so, uh, well, the rain's on, it's fairly gentle and steady though, but uh, there is the pub. I'm going to take a good break there, I think. Maybe have about an hour. So, 
can't be that far off the halfway point for the day. Hopefully, I'll, I'll take a look when I'm down there. And, uh, but uh, this has been grand so far today. And pretty easy walking for the most part. It's the you are here that gets me. So just had a, a lunch stop at the pub there, the White House. And excellent it was too. It looks as if the going for a bit is going to be nice and flat, but great views out over North Manchester. Uh, Old coaching in, I think, apparently, and uh, the, the road was a turnpike. So it's been there a fair amount of time. But, um, it was raining quite heavily when I stopped all off now. Uh, so back to it. Um, and I've got somewhere in the region of about eight or nine miles to go. Uh, I think up to Studley Pike it's going to be quite easy walking, so... Uh, <laughs> I am nowhere near as trashed as I was yesterday, but I had a, I had a good hour in the pub. Which I find makes a massive difference. Anyway, it's about one o'clock now. So, all being well, I think I should get in somewhere about six-ish. I'll let this run a little bit. Dead easy walking along this track great views what more could you ask for totally different day to yesterday Studley Pike in the distance just behind the cow I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see it or not it's a bit small on the screen but it's been well, nearly three miles from the, the White House just a long flat gravel path made good time but it wears you down a bit but we're heading back out onto Open Moorland um, and we'll be heading for the monument over there. Um, I had planned to stay at Mankin Holes, the uh, youth hostel there, but unfortunately I think they were flooded out a couple of months back, so it's shut down uh, until they can uh, renovate it, as far as I'm aware. I'm sure they had that somewhere. Uh, but it's a real pity, so the campsite I'm going to is going to be on that hill uh, somewhere behind the monument so I'm going to have to drop down into the valley, cross it and then up the other side uh, which is going to be uh, pretty hard at the end of the day done uh, over 10 miles now so broken the back of it but Still, maybe five and a half, six miles to go uh, to get here.
Ah, just on the way down from Stirling Pike now. And the landscape is changing drastically. I think we're coming off these grit stone moors, as it says in the guidebook. Um, but uh, I've got about three and a half miles left, I think. Um, unfortunately, the campsite is on the other side of this valley. Up a pretty steep hill. So. But, uh, yeah, if the manking holes had been open, I'd have been there or thereabouts. And suddenly, the whole character of the walk's changed. Just in this lovely field, uh, absolutely hoaching with buttercup. Uh, and they're off grazing just on the other side of the fence here, but... Uh, it's a distinct change in the landscape. It's quite lovely. But uh, yeah, still a fair bit to go. Um, I'm nowhere near as shattered as I thought I would be by this stage. Uh, must be about 13 and a half, 14 miles. So uh, still probably a good couple of hours yet to go. I would expect. But today's been grand. Um, it's been an easier walking day, that's for sure. Uh, I managed to keep up a reasonable pace. And uh, yeah, I, I thought that really I was going to be looking at about seven or eight o'clock at night tonight, getting in. But uh, we'll have a look at what we've got to do tomorrow as well. Because I think it's another fairly long day. Uh, so I'll be trying to get an as early start as possible. But I'm pretty sure tomorrow's going to be tougher than today. Uh, but in the meanwhile, um, I've really enjoyed this. It's been cracking. This is a gorgeous little section coming down. I've got to, uh, to cross the canal down here and then climb back up. But um, I'm just blown away by the generosity of strangers on this. Um, well, you, you'll know my pole broke earlier. Um, and I've just had a, a, a chat with a fellow walking his uh, dog. <laughs> so, a working cocker um, uh, and I can probably do a, a fix with some gaffer tape and he said oh look get up to your campsite and I'll bring some up to you which uh, you know I'm just speechless uh, it's absolutely awesome uh, he'll, he'll more than likely beat me up there actually uh, but uh, yeah um, so there is the hill that I'll be going up very shortly. <laughs> this is glorious. Um, I'm not sure where I'm crossing the canal, down there somewhere. And uh, I've got to climb that lot. Oh, yeah, it was down there a few minutes ago, right at the bottom. I've picked up the Pennine Bridleway for the last mile and a half. Um, going up there, this is steep. But uh, mainly this trail takes me right to where I want to go. 
so uh, and it should be a bit easier than the Pennine Way itself a um, bit more of a direct route so uh, uh, and I can get back on route to tomorrow morning um, pay a visit to May's shop as well but uh, yeah so uh, I've got about a mile left to go to Jack's Bridge which is where the campsite is and uh, I'm hoping this hill ends soon some climb up don't think I'm at the top yet either but we can't be far off the height we were up at Stidley Pike anyway we'd be going this way take consolation in the fact that the Pennine Way itself is probably harder and riddled with styles um, I think I've got about three quarters of a mile to go now. So I'm just hoping this all eases up. 